Hey Centaurus, so uh, welcome to the third and last video of the Last Creep Standing video walkthrough. This is going to be for the dreadful difficulty. Uh, and once again, we do talk to Boo and challenge him for the right to get into the arena. And this one will cost 100,000 gold. And I do believe this one is probably going to be a bit more eventful than the last two. As the... Like, I, I might actually be having to move and kite, depending on how much damage they seem to do with uh, me having donor gear. Like, I, like as I said before, I usually don't have donor gear on this character, so I don't really know the, the full limits of the strength of a level 620 druid. Uh, they seem to be doing a sizable amount of damage. So yeah, I would if you were about level 600... Especially if you're lower, I would definitely suggest moving around. Um, I was able to clear the wave, but that wasn't even really a full wave. They will get bigger, and the Banshees do run and heal, so you may end up having to chase them down to try to make sure they don't heal up and join in with another group later to try and kill you. Or if you feel you have better odds, as uh, I put in the guide, you probably can find a corner and just keep using your your Grand Frigo or Flam and slowly work your way through the mobs. Although it does seem to be with donor gear and moving around, um, it's it's more than easily taken care of. But yeah, when I did let my knight just sit there and let all of the waves spawn. This one was particularly bad because the Vampire Brides do have range attacks, same as the Lich, and they were they were chewing through a lot of health. Alright. definitely suggest keep moving. As you can see with just ultimate mana runes they they can clear through about 20,000 mana in not too long of a time. Let's see how we're doing. About at the halfway mark, not too bad. I have been trying to take as many vi pictures outside of the, uh, the video for the the guides on the wiki because the sound was kind of obnoxious, uh, but for this one, I will be having to take pictures of the achievements that you do get. Um, you will get three, uh, one being spooky, one scary, and one dreadful, and Boo will refer to you as the dreadful, quote-unquote, whatever your name is. I am quite glad this character could handle this because it saved a good bit more effort from having to level just to be able to take on this particular quest because this is actually one of the the lower um, importance quests. Wow, that's starting to hurt because like the the quest rewards from this uh, like are a little bit less than what you'd get from. Uh, say the Banshee quest or the um, Centaur Zone, uh, which we were going to be doing here later. Um, one of the hardest bosses is Red because of his ability to occasionally one-shot anyone. It's an immediately kill. It's called a banning, which doesn't matter what your level, how much health, how much mana you have, you just die. So... Less than a minute. Got low mana a couple times, nothing too serious, but if you don't have donor gear, definitely we'd suggest you be a little bit higher level or bring uh, greater manas because it would be quite unpleasant. 
I, I do believe you lose your, your money when you come in here and you'd have to keep repaying him for the chance to come in. Just sit here for a few seconds. Don't believe we're going to get any more waves. Yeah, there we go. And if you talk to Boo, and you try to challenge him again, I did check to see if you could, like, maybe redo other challenges, but as, as you can see, he's like, oh, you defeated the best, like, every difficulty available, and you are now the, the dreadful. So let's start with the spooky door. You walk here to get your trophy. And then you can pick one of these. Um, there's the club, that's the orcish mall, the head chopper, or the black steel sword. I do believe I might have picked the black steel sword last time. Um, this box just has candies and ice cream in it. This has random arrows. You actually can see them on the ground. There's the enchanted spears, the snowballs, the infernal bolts, the piggy bank, and the bullseye potions. So we're good. Like I believe you can get the head chopper from the uh, barbarians and the orcish mall from uh, orc spawns. So I did. I was partial to the black steel. Uh, um, but let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the black steel. And as you leave, did I already get it? Oh, yeah, I did. I did. Well then, here it is. Let's get that. Sorry for that. And this is where you get your, your silver award. And for here, like I said, I am quite partial to the present, as it does give you the Santa Teddy. There's the Mystic Blade, the Heroic Axe, and the Cranial Basher. And once again, this bag, I don't know, yeah, they already took it out. It's basically more enchanted spears, um, snowballs, infernal bolts, and the like. As I don't yet have a paladin and even if I did, I probably wouldn't be using those particular things. I'm, I'm not really sure this, this bag here has much worth. Um, heroic axes you can loot from uh, upper things, like things from the uh, Fury Gates. I do believe they drop off the Badass Behemoth as well. I'm not sure about the Cranial Basher. That one might have some value to it. But I definitely like my Teddy. So we're going to hop out of here. Get ready for that achievement pop up. Which may have already shown up on my screen and I wasn't paying attention. Oh, nope. Maybe it, it pops up after you pick your your present. Alright, and for the third one, this is where you get your golden trophy. Oh, didn't mean to drop that in there. And you have the option of the Justice Seeker, which looks pretty cool. There's the Royal Axe, the Blessed Scepter, and once again, the, the Fur Bag. This one has the Panda Bear, but as I have one and I don't have any of these over here, I'm going to go ahead, I think I'm going to take the Justice Seeker. I'm quite partial to swords. And we're going to hit, hop out of here, take one more picture of our achievement. And we're going to call it a day for the Last Creep Standing Quest. Good luck, guys, and see you around.